ladies and gentlemen, right there. Cover of Sports Illustrated. A new folk hero. That's who we have on the program tonight. On Easter Sunday, uh, first guest overcame a four-stroke deficit at Augusta National to win his first major and claim the coveted green jacket. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, your 2012 Masters champion, Bubba Watson. Bubba! <laughs> Jacket, isn't how do it? I sit on this, do I? I'm sorry? How do I sit on this, do I? Unfamiliar with a chair? Are yeah. you not? Yes. <laughs> I want to look professional. Though. You look great. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, nice going. Tell me uh, 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 the name, Bubba. Where did you get the name Bubba? Um, my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why and how? I, I looked, um, I got my, my real name with Gary um, after my dad, um, but. When I was born, I was real chubby in the face, looked like a football player. Bubba Smith was coming through, uh, playing football. Mm -hmm. So he said, oh, man, I got a Bubba. And so yeah. 10 seconds after I was born, called me Bubba and been Bubba ever since. <laughs> there you go. He's been Bubba ever since, ladies and gentlemen. And when, um, when did you start playing golf? Six years old. Six years old, really? Yeah. I mean, did your family play golf? No, my dad started playing on the weekends with the buddies from work. Um, my mom said the only way you can go play with your buddies is if you take your son. My dad said I wanted a baseball player, wanted me to be a pitcher for the U New York Yankees, right. um, so I've always liked the Yankees, but at four years old, started baseball, t-ball, and then golf, came in the pitchers two years later, and my mom made my dad take me, and then turned out to be a good decision. Yeah. Um, now you're, you're left-handed? Yes, sir. And uh, it seems like 50% uh, of the most recent winners have been left-handed. Is that true at Augusta? Yeah, 50% are right-handed, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is, does the course favor left-handers in any way, any way other than right-handers? I, I believe so. Um, I like to cut the ball, so for me it's, it works out perfect on some of the holes. Most of the holes are... Uh, our dog legs to the left, right to left, and so it sets up good for me. Um, set number 10, I hit in the trees on number 10, but it worked out. Yeah, that was, now that, that shot was, uh, have you ever, uh, you can't practice a shot like that. Is that the one from underneath the pine trees and then it, you wing it and it makes the hard right? Yeah, the 90 degree turn. Yeah, how do you do that exactly? Um, luck, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, do, now, when you're, do you take lessons? Have you ever had lessons? Never had a lesson. I've learned it all myself. My dad taught me the basic swing. The basic grip at six years old, and then I've learned it from there. And do people ever say, well, you know, if you drop your head and lift your elbow, do you ever get a lot of that? They do say that, but yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you so far you're happy with the results of your own technique, aren't you? It's working so far. How would you, how would you describe your personal style of play, your personal approach to golf? Awesome. <laughs> Other, I mean, after awesome. <laughs> you know, you know we, we coined the phrase uh, bubble golf. Bubble uh, golf? Because it's just fun. You know, I love the game of golf. I love uh, goofing around. I love um, just shaping shots, um, the creativity of golf. Every day is a different day because of the, the weather, the conditions. You never know what's going to happen. So for me, I just, I'm having a blast out there. I'm right. trying to hit shots right at the pin. I'm not trying to play safe. I'm just trying to be aggressive and try to bury the holes and, and try to win golf tournaments. You're an, um, an emotional player, is that safe to say about you? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And, and do, you, do you ever let your emotion, because you really have to, it's all about control. Yeah. Uh, do you ever let the, are you overcome by your emotions? Sometimes I am. Um, you know, about four years ago, I was, I was pretty bad. Um, just getting down on myself. Not really showing a, a lot of anger, but getting down on myself. My caddy saw it. Caddy told me he was going to quit me if I didn't change, mm -hmm. and so I um, changed, and four wins later, we're still together. How did you change? It's not easy to change human behavior. How did you do that? Uh, just a lot of hard work. My, my wife um, helping me, my friends helping me, my caddy helping me, just um, trying to understand that life is, there's a lot better things in life than, uh, than golf. Wow. Well, that's, I mean, if you could hold that in perspective, and the results are apparent, good for you.
I saw your buddy a, t a tiger uh, was even clubs and stuff around. Like, are you? But did you ever throw clubs? Yes, but yeah. never on camera. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got to be careful because it goes all over the world, and they see a, a boot and a, a nine iron. Well, nobody knew who I was until I won. Yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, I, let, let's look at this shot now. Ex explain again what the shot, where, where the ball landed, and what was the objective, and then we'll look at the tape. What did, where did it go first? <laughs> let's see. Uh, I hit the trees, and so I had about a 40-yard window. I needed to hook it. I had a you know 20-foot gap where I could. Um, Hook it around onto the green, had about 135 yards to the front edge of the green, about 160 hole. I hit a gap wedge 52 degree and just hooked it and hit it as hard as I could so it'll uh, somehow chase up there and it actually did. Now, this is in the playoffs, too. Yeah, the, playoffs. In the playoffs. Second yeah. hole of the playoffs. Second hole of the playoffs. And, and what you're describing is like a trick shot. You can do this in the off season at country clubs to raise money. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know, you can go, all right, now I'm going to show you a little something. <laughs> The golf ball whacker guy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, let's take a look at the results. Here it is. This is crazy. Oh, and I closed my eyes. Oh. Edge your eyes closed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How about that? And then... At that, before, before that shot, did you think you would let the playoffs slip away from it? I did. When I first hit the tee shot on 10, um, I hit it in the woods. It could be behind a tree. It could be anywhere. It could have a bad lie. So I thought that it was going to be tough to overcome that. Um, he kind of hit one. This was West Heisen? Yeah. Uh, Louis. What do you just call him? Louis. Okay. He, um, he hit it in the rough just to the right. I knew he had a long shot, and then I saw he came up short of the green. And I knew that, that up and down was very difficult. So I was just trying to make par, and then when I um, saw my gap and all that stuff, I, I saw that I could pull this off. Um, didn't know I could hit that close, but uh, it worked out. Well, now, now uh, having won probably the most uh, treasured of, of the majors, does this take pressure off a golfer or put pressure on a golfer? What does <laughs> this do to Bubba Golf? And, and will, you, will you continue to be awesome? I guess is what I'm trying to say. I hope so. <laughs> um, you know, well, first of all, it's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of pressure off. I'm guaranteed five years on tour, you know, so I've got, I got a job for the next five years. Yeah. I'm going to be in a, I'm going to be in the Masters the rest of my life. So. And uh, you have a little baby girl, is that a right? Baby boy. A little baby boy. How old is the boy? Uh, about to be six weeks old. Oh, well, this is tremendous, then, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, well, that, having a little baby like that in your life, that makes uh, that really settles the perspective, does it? But to have this victory uh, for the little six-week-old uh, boy, that's wonderful. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, we have a little something for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, now look at this. Oh, damn. It's not exactly. <laughs> These are pants. That's not good. But it's, uh, the match is not. I'm sorry. But, they, you know, if you, I think if you watch this a few times, it'll probably fade down to, <laughs> fade down to that. Uh, and what, what's your next tournament? Do you lay out now for a while, or are you going to continue playing regular style? No, I'm the, I'm the defending champ in New Orleans in two weeks, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go back to New Orleans and defend my title there. Yeah, good for you, and you're making some money now, aren't you? Well, I'm trying to. Yeah, good for you. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the awesome Bubba Watson, the 2012 National Champion. Have a nice meeting. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with Sean Hayes, everybody.